everyone. No, mm -mm. What's going on, everybody? And welcome back to Face Over Matter. It is your girl Jay here, and in today's video, have y'all ever noticed that I always wear white? I always got on like a white tank top or something, or something. I'm really just gonna try to make this like a simple makeup tutorial. I feel like I haven't done a makeup tutorial in like a really long time, just like a basic makeup toot. So with that being said, that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna first put in my contacts just simply because that's what needs to go down because I cannot do my face with glasses on. I don't know about y'all, but I think contacts are one of like the coolest inventions. Darn it. To first start out with my face, I'm gonna be using my Burt's Bees Intense Hydration. Nothing new, same old, same old routine. I already did my brows, um, just because I feel like my brows kinda take me a while. Like y'all ever have one of those, um, like you have a makeup routine, but there's just always something about your makeup routine that you, like you least enjoy. There's always something, and my eyebrows is that thing that I least enjoy about doing my makeup. So next, I'm gonna take this Milk Makeup. This is actually their Luminous Blur Stick, and I've been loving this thing. Like I smile, and I do like that. So as you can see, it's like an illuminator. Nice. It's an illuminator, but it is a blur stick, and my pores on my cheeks get super big. It just it makes my face look smooth and not texturized and stuff like that. So I really, really like this product. I have to be honest though, guys, here lately I haven't really been enjoying doing my makeup just because I just feel like my skin tone right now is really like off. I mean, not off, but like I don't really know what it is. So it's really hard for me to find shades that really match me. So I've been at a place where I've been mixing foundations. Like the foundations that I would use all the time that I was thinking was my shade it's not even looking like my shade anymore. So I'm gonna use this Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation in the shade 312 Golden. But by itself, it's way too light. So I'm gonna mix it in with a little bit of my NARS um, Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the color Cadiz. When I do makeup, I love a full coverage you know, base. I don't really care to do half stepping unless I'm going to church. Sometimes I do wear makeup to church and I will have like a, you know, like a light beat. You can still see my moles and all that stuff. And this mixture actually gives me a really, really accurate base color that really matches my skin. All right, so that looks pretty good. We're just gonna leave it at that. All right, now I'm gonna actually go in with contour. I've been doing contour before my concealer. No really specific reason, I just like doing it that way now. All right, I'm gonna use the LA Pro Girl concealers and my favorite one to use right now is the chestnut shade. And I have to be honest, a little of this goes such a long way, so it's like, don't use a whole lot, like, that's enough, literally. Because once you start blending it in, it's gonna get everywhere and I find myself looking crazy. Those three little dots already is just spreading out. I mean, it does. it's a good product and I love it. It's just, just literally a little goes a long way. Like that's enough. Boom, contoured up to the max, yes. I'm gonna use a mixture of my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Caramel and my Tarte Shape Tape in Tan Sand. And then I'm gonna take the NARS Creamy Concealer and I'm gonna put that everywhere else. All right, so what I've been doing lately, I have not been setting my face right away. And that's just simply because for some reason with my routine lately, the setting powder changes the color of my concealer and stuff. So it's like me waiting helps it not do that. This is what I've been doing lately. Instead of doing setting powder, I'll go straight in with a makeup sealer. And um, this one is the CoverGirl um, Look Lock Up All Day Setting Spray. And I'm just gonna give myself a good spritz of that. But eventually I'm gonna go back in with powder like towards like when I get, you know. So for bronze, I'm gonna go in with my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. This is the light to medium. And what I do is I literally start on the back side and I just press the brush into my skin. I don't really, I try not to stray away from swiping so much. And I think that's another thing that makes me look really red is my bronzer. I think I need to go with a bronzer that's a little bit more cool tone, not really super cool tone, but just a little bit more cool tone than 
this one this is just a red based bronzer and I think that's what kind of throws me off sometimes all right now I'm gonna take a little bit of blush this is the makeup geek summer fling blush that I always use and I like to do it not all the way on the apples but like on the bottom part of the apples and then I kind of blend it up into the bronzer all right now I'm gonna go in with some highlight this is the Milani 03 sun glow strobe lighting highlighter and this has been like my go-to oops I've been loving doing my highlighter before I do my setting powder I used to do this like a while back but I had got back into like my old routine I guess so what helps me see if my highlight is looking natural is I will tilt my head back and if I can see a distinct difference between where my highlighter is sitting and my bronzer that's how I know it's not looking as natural as possible so that's when I'll know I can go back in with my brush do some more blending or more of a natural effect you can go, kind of go in with your finger and just blend it in and do it that way and these are just like little tricks that I do just so I can look as natural as possible I mean makeup isn't the most natural thing anyway so it's like but you want it to look good rather than it just kind of sitting on top of your skin and you can just see the highlight. All right, so now that I have gotten all of that out of the way, now I will go in with setting powder. Even with my setting powder, I do not use a ton. So I'm taking my Airspun Loose Face Powder, making sure there are no creases. Then I will go in with the tiniest amount of powder, tap off the excess, and I will go in and just start to set right underneath my eye. All right, so for my eyes, I'm gonna go in with this Juvia's Place. This is the Saharan, uh, this is the Saharan palette by Juvia's Place. And I don't know if I've featured this palette on my channel yet. I've had it for a little minute now. But I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's like a nice orangey shade and it's called Jam Jamilia. I have an idea of what I wanna do for my eye look today. I am going to try and experiment with something else other than, um, neutrals i am going to try and do something else i'm going to use this shade first and these are so nice and soft and buttery literally i don't have any fallout when i use these shadows and i, I just really like them they're really nice and pigmented as you can tell and this brush that i'm using is a B bh cosmetics number five brush this came out of the rose gold collection all right so i am going to come back to this palette because there is a color i want to use but it doesn't have a nice dark brown shade that I need so I'm gonna pick up a palette that I know has some good dark browns and this is the Morphe 3502 and I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm gonna go in with the shade called rich which is right here in the palette and this is just going to darken up the look and just give me a little bit more of something I don't know, I just felt like being creative today, so I'm just trying to embrace that feeling. All right, while I'm already here with this palette open, I'm gonna take another brush, and I'm gonna take this color called Spice from the 3502. And just to start connecting the shadows top and bottom, I'm gonna go back in with the Juvia's Place palette, Take that Jamelia color. And I'm just gonna start to blend. All right, now I wanna go in with some black, just a plain black shade. Um, the Juvia's Place palette actually has a black shade called Chad, and I'm gonna go in with that one. And I'm gonna try and keep this, you know, on the outer corner, not try to blend it in too far, but just keep it on the outer corner just to um, give us some really good definition. And of course, while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and add that black to the lower lash line as well. Like, yeah, I'm trying to get back into like my creative mode. Like I used to play around with a lot of color, a lot of shadow, just a lot of stuff because I liked it. I just feel like I'm, I've gotten really boring with my makeup. I'm in the mood for some blue, so I'm gonna take this color right here called Kia. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Pretty, this is so pretty. It took me so long to buy Juvia's Place palettes. I don't know why. It's like for some reason, I would always see Juvia's Place and I would just be like, oh, okay, Juvia's Place, cool. I don't really need that palette. But it's like, these are really good shadows. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit of the highlighter and I'm going to put that in my inner corners. 
probably should have done my liner first. I'm gonna add a little bit of this um, gel liner. This is from Maybelline. This is their Eye Studio. And this is also gonna help hide the lash band when we apply lashes. So now I want to add some blue just to kind of spice it up a little bit. This is the Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Cobalt. And I'm going to add that to my waterline. All right, now I'm gonna add a little bit of mascara, top and bottom. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you're liking that I'm actually doing something other than neutrals today. All right, so for my lashes, I'm not gonna go super intense, but before I do that, I'm gonna add a little bit of highlight to my brow bone. Go ahead and get that highlighted and out of the way. Boom. For my lashes today, I'm gonna be using the Ardell Twin Pack. These are the Demi Wispies. They're really nice and long, but still lightweight and natural. I wanted to keep something a little bit simple so the focus can be the eyes. I just feel like big, big bold lashes were just gonna take away from the eye look altogether. So I'm gonna go throw those on. I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows a little bit more and then we'll be back to do lip color. Woo, boom, shakalaka, boom, shakalaka, boom. All right, for the lips, I'm going to be using my MAC Lip Pencil in Cork. You already know. I'm gonna take a little bit of this BH Cosmetics lipstick in the color Alice. I would leave it matte, but I love a good gloss, so I'm gonna go in with my NYX Butter Lip Gloss in the shade Madeline. And this is the makeup look. I am gonna add a little bit more highlight just because I wanna get lit up. And we just gonna add it where I need be just to really, ooh, that scared me. Yeah, this is what I'll be missing about doing makeup. Just like creating, just really getting dolled up. Matter of fact, let me do my Milani Make It Last. Okay guys, this is the completed look. I hope you guys like it. We are super glam. I like it, this is cute. I'm gonna go take me some pictures. So thank you guys so much for watching. So as always, if you're new, I'm Jay. And if you're not new, I just thank you so much for supporting me with whatever I do here with my channel. A list of each product mentioned and used will be down in the description box below, along with my various social media accounts to follow me on, guys. I love you guys so much. And of course, God willing, I will definitely see you all in my next video. Bye.